Hello, I'm going to speak to you about something that would certainly be one of your most important concerns. The all important subject is success. I'm sure you dream about being successful all the time. So what is success? The Webster dictionary defines success as the accumulation of material possessions like a big house, a big car, a big bank balance and or attainment of position of power and prestige like the title of a CEO, managing director, etc. Is this the perfect definition? I don't think so because simply no matter where we stand on the wealth and position scale, what really makes us happy or sad is where we stand relative to other people in our social circle. Sounds familiar? Think about the last time you tried to impress your parents with the 90% marks you scored, but your cousin scored 95%. So what does one do about this? Ask yourself a simple question like why do I want to succeed as opposed to what do I want to become? The answer is important because if you wish to succeed to be one up on others then you can be rest assured that you will not get the cooperation of those around you to realize your dreams. And succeeding in any sphere of life especially in corporate life is impossible without getting the wholehearted cooperation of your subordinates, your peers and your superiors. On the other hand, if the objective of your success is to positively affect the lives of those around you, you can hope to get the support of people even without asking for it. Having said this, will success happen exactly in the manner you imagine it? Highly unlikely. So what happens then? Here it is important to realize that the only thing you can control is your effort. The results occur or don't occur owing to a multiplicity of reasons most of which are beyond your control. Let me illustrate. You work very hard for a promotion that does not happen. So who's to blame? I think finding someone or something to blame helps nobody. What is required is to reflect on whether you did your best or not. 